Hey Cajon Drummers, it's the weekend here and I'm once again out in the backyard so it's time for another Cajon lesson. And today I've just got a new groove for you guys to learn. It's been played a few times on this channel and I remember being asked if I could break it down into a lesson for you guys. So this is a very busy rhythm, it doesn't have much breathing space. Um, but what it is great for is, of course, showing off, or you might be able to use it in some intense parts of some of the songs that you play. So, let's get into learning that now. I'll start off by showing you how it sounds really slow, and then of course we'll break down each component, and by the end of this you'll uh, have it for yourself as well. Okay, so here's what's happening. Um, I thought the easiest way to explain this groove is to break it down into 6-8 time. So as you noticed on the metronome there, there are 6 beats to each bar. And with the snare drum, the first accent is on beat 4, and then the second one, a little bit smaller, is on the and of beat 6. A good way to approach it is to really hit hard on that beat 4, because that's your anchor point of the groove. That's a consistent part each time you go around, and that lighter accent towards the end, on the and of 6, is just there to push things along to the next bar. Now to make this groove sound really good and feel really great, um, I would recommend spending some time just playing the bass pulse. The bass hits are on beat 1, beat 2, the and of 2, beat 5, and the and of 5. So the reason that this is so important is, as I mentioned before, this is a very busy groove. There's a lot that's going on and that makes a bit of noise. So that bass, its job is so simple, but it's what drives the whole pulse and inevitably a big part of what makes the groove easy to listen to. And now we're ready to add in that snare drum. So let's put the whole thing together and again play it at a fairly slow to medium tempo. Now that you've got the groove up and running, you can start mixing it in with some of the other skills that you already have on the cajon. Try it with a few different fills, or see if it fits into a solo that you could put together. And there's today's cajon lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys again soon.